What's going on everyone? This is Raylo. And Sashimi. And we've got a loudly purring Axel with us today. We've got Stubby manning the unboxing table with his sister, Portia, who's usually in charge of the music volume. I know normally I'm the one that's hitting the add to cart button and bringing us all this crud to unbox, but today, Sasha been hitting the button. So what you got this, for us? This is Atme Ariza 2, the Japanese version, because they're better. They have a lot more stuff in them, usually. Yeah, they've got tiers in Japan you can get. That's why you got, like, this box. Look at that thing. It's huge. Yeah. It's like, be like a lamp in there? It's like Crazy. console size, almost. I think these were exclusive to the place? The JPG. That's the photo name. JPG. What's on the other side? Uh, so beauty got... paper? <laughs> I don't know, man. So we've got some cool character cards here. Yeah, I think these are different depending on where you get the, the uh, collector's edition from, which store. It must be a nightmare to be a collector in Japan if you, like, want all of the things. So this does have Koei Tecmo's mark on it, so I guess they handled the uh, the collector's edition uh, both overseas and here domestically. Seems that way. And yeah, it can be a nightmare if you want to get all the collector's stuff, because they release, while well, Sasha's opening this up, uh, a little backstory on collector's editions in Japan, normally you go to game stores, and different game stores will have different add-ons, and you can usually get different tiers of collector's editions. Uh, usually the bottom tier will have, like, the game and an art book. The second tier will have everything from the first tier. It's almost almost like Patreon, really. Kinda. Yeah, kind of. Uh, but you get different items, like, usually they'll sweet. add extras like uh, plushies, sometimes figures, uh, usually they'll go on up to these lamps. A lot of collector's edition have lamps that, like Sasha said, this this one has one, and some of them even have jewelry, uh, like the new Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Its highest tier, which is like 400 bucks, has a silver uh, bracelet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You need a hand with that? Stubby's like, hey, while she's doing that, you wanna, you wanna pet me? <laughs> Look at me. He stepped up. He's like, he's like, oh, while she's doing that, I'm gonna scoot up to the camera and get some time. It's even more tape. Looks like a tiny case. Now, if you guys have ever watched any of the Japanese collector's editions, they do often come in these big white boxes, because, like I said, you can get stuff a la carte as well, and they just kind of put them in these collector's boxes, kind of like a build-your-own collector's edition. I think it's a really cool system. I really wish it had a chance domestically, but I don't think it would work out quite so well in the West, because... It's going to be the lamp, but we'll save that for later. Because that's going to be cool. So it looks like this piece oh, is just whoa. empty. Yeah, he's just packing. Look at all in. that space! Mm. Let's go and chill the check. Yeah, nothing in there. You got like this, it's like this big L shaped corner of the box. Dang. Oh, this is for the wall scroll? Oh. I haven't seen a wall scroll done like that in a minute. Yeah, that's like hefty chunk in PVC. Oh, here we go. We got oh, something here. It's like your quest pad thing. Oh, yeah. I th I thought I've seen that design before. Sorry, that's how it's awful. No worries. I'm pretty sure anyone watching our unboxing is used to the sound of plastic. Oh, it's blank. You can write in it. It's like Really cool texture paper. It's really smooth. Ease. Almost like tissue paper. Oh, I was thinking like papyrus. No, so it's, it's very thin. It's soft? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It's very, very thin. Nice. So if you guys are, uh, anyone who plays uh, the Atelier games, Atelier, we were actually going over how to pronounce it before this video. <laughs> yeah, I think our Texan kicks a little bit hard. With the Atlier. Yeah, being Texan, we're going to be going with that Atlier. Uh, but <laughs> anyone who's played uh, 
these games, they know that there's lots of different combinations, lots of different stuff. So if you need any notes, this is a game that I would actually say you might want a notepad for. Comes with a bag of... Throw some cat toys in there. Oh, it's, cat. I get it. So you can gather. Oh. So you can go out in the yard and pick a bunch, pick okay. up a bunch of junk and bring it in and melt it together, <laughs> and we'll make a video out of that, and then hope it gets enough views to make up for the house we burned down. Hmm. Make some dubious alchemy. <laughs> dubious alchemy with cats. <laughs> we'll have an escape plan for the cats ready. Pre-evacuate them. So they won't even be in the video. <laughs> We've already <laughs> evacuated the kitties. Oh, starting with thighs. Dang, look at those thighs. They knew what to put in front. So is what? A, oh, it's got uh, paper in between. So is we have a swimsuit crunchy? poster. They know how to sell a collector's edition, mm -hmm. huh? Stuff. Stubby's down here just like, I don't know where to go. Under the table. That is a huge poster. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's big. Here, I'll hold um, this side. So I'm actually holding this side over here. Sasha's over there. This thing is wider. It's about as wide as the table, which is four feet. Oh, oh might be in thumbnail territory here. <laughs> Put a cat here. Just <laughs> put a cat right right over all the good parts. Yeah. I like the dragon though. I really like his design. Very he's got cute. these he's like got these super fat cheeks. Hmm. Makes me think of the Homunculus design from the uh, like Esha and Loggy and Esha. Oh this looks like one of those dioramas. Oh it is. Oh, we've got an acrylic diorama. That's, that's cool. That's so cute. They're all chibi. Oh, that's adorable. You should put it together. Should we pause it and come back? Sure. I don't want to waste everyone's time with me trying to figure this out. So we're going to pause this and come back, guys, because we don't edit anything. Say bye-bye for now. Stop. I can just... There were no instructions, so there it is, I think. <laughs> it looks like church is in session, or we're getting ready for dinner. But these are completely modular, like look at all these holes. You could really set this up kind of yeah. however you want. Yeah, put them wherever. Put bladders in there. Bladders. <laughs> Tom Nook, <laughs> they're selling you ingredients, or taking ingredients from you in bladders case. Maybe it's a museum. Could be. It's kind of whatever you want it to be. Yeah, it's probably a ruin. I'm sorry, this plastic very crackly. Went ahead and set the girls up right here. <laughs> so we've now got an audience. Maybe some stuff is abandoned. This is this anything? Oh, oh. If you guys hear rustling in the background, that's our kitties playing with some plastic. Looks like it's something about the egg they find. It's all in like the game language, it's not in Japanese. I was gonna say, that does not look like any <laughs> language that I know. <laughs> yeah. It's cute though. Little mm -hmm. it looks like her just little scrawls. Yeah. You know, if you were gonna make an uh, if you're gonna make like in a a cosplay for Ryza or something and put this into a book it would probably go a long way for some you know get that authentic value up there yeah it'd be really cute to have what are we doing Axel <laughs> Axel seems to want a spot and oh. there's no room Here, 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 bed. There you go. He's like, I'm, I'm just gonna destroy your ruin here. Let's turn it into a real oh. ruin. So what we got here? Pendus. Pen. Oh, a pen to write into your, into your book. Pineapple pen. Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> There's not enough room for two buddies up here. I have a pen. 
We have a lot of approval of this pen. How does it work? Oh. How do pens work? Hmm. And this kind of clip. That's lovely. And doubles as a cat scratcher. Or cat rubber penner. I'm gonna put that away before I accidentally mark on that bag. Axel really wants to know what's next. <laughs> me. Oh, that's, there's just like another collector's edition in here. So this is the other, this is the baseline collector's mm -hmm. edition. I remember seeing this on the website. And this will probably be more like what you would get in the West. This is probably what is going to be in our collector's. It looks like that is empty. The box yes. is now empty. This is the last You want to hand that to me and I oh, can I maybe we can make some kitty space cuz kitty getting down right indignant. What are you doing? Don't worry guys. We always make sure to clip the kitty's nails before we do unboxings. That way we don't end up with a bunch of scratches on everything. Yep. We just keep them trimmed. That way they can't scratch each other and mess up each other's eyes or do something crazy like that. And he immediately right. took that space. Yep, that's what Let's put that knife down now. Yeah, it's dangerous. Have a knife. Shing. Shing. No, I did not. Let's go ahead and take this back, because with all that stuff under there, we don't want to crinkle up our memoirs now. Right tool for the job. Well, maybe a little bit. Can you tell this is one of their favorite chairs? Look at all that damage. <laughs> this is their other favorite chair, obviously. Alrighty, so what is in the second box? There's like all this perforated area. I guess if you want to like take this off and frame oh, it or something. You're right. It is perforated. Like you could just mo take that out. I'm not exactly sure. I the, even the box is decorative. You can set it up. How open. Oh, you know what? You might be able to set your diorama in there. Oh, this oh is... it just flaps. It just flaps open. And the exact same pictures underneath. Nice. Oh, it's like a book cover. Hmm. How open without bending any of this? There we go. What's in it? Whoa. The game. I was no I, I was actually kind of like, there's something missing, and I, I totally forgot the game. <laughs> the game. This is not Andromeda. Oh, and I will be using these codes to get some outfits. And apparently you can register your stuff on this Japanese site. Get some coins. Be doing that as well. See what it do. Cool. Okay, steady. So, you get the game. Looks like your standard vanilla coffee. Oh, it's the cute dragon. With these little toe beans. <laughs> He's got like two of them. I thought they were like a little spirit the first time I saw them because they look like little faces. Yeah, it does. Those little like uh, forest spirit things from Spirited Away or any of those Miyazaki films. Is it just me yeah. or has Ri have Ryza's thighs leveled up? She got older. second puberty or something. I just I can't. How old she's supposed to be. I can't help but remember there was a Q&A with the developers and they asked them about Ryza's thighs and how she was attractive <laughs> and how the internet was going over how sexy she looked. And I remember them being surprised because they were like, oh no, no, we did not intend for this. We didn't, we had no intention of making any of the, none of the, the character designs. Uh, we, we didn't have sexy in mind for any of them. I know sarcasm is really? not really very much of a thing, but I have a feeling they were being sarcastic. They had to have been. 
More game city stuff. So was there stuff on the backs of these? No. These are blank. So three outfits so far? And two serial numbers for the game city. And of course the game. If any of you guys try to redeem these codes, by the way, and they are redeemable, it's likely because we couldn't because they're Japanese codes. <laughs> yeah, so I guess if you can redeem them, then more power to you, because I couldn't. Hopefully they're not uh, Japanese uh, PSN exclusives. Yeah, I don't think they have region encoding, so I think they will work. We'll have to see. I'd be very sad if I can't get them. I don't know. I was broken hearted back when I tried to get my, my floating Kirin on oh, Monster Hunter right. World. Oh, the dragons in this one. That's really cute. I love the designs on the chibis. There's so much acrylic. So we've gone through all of this stuff now. How about that lamp? I've been really yes. curious about this lamp. Well, there's oh, more things. There's more stuff. <laughs> it's, it's everywhere. Now printing. Oh, look, it looks like a, it looks like a, a newspaper. See? Gust shop, and it's it, huh. it's like a headline. It looks like a newspaper. What, what is this? Hey. That looks like a, a baby <laughs> vehicle. That is that it? Is that it's a baby and like it's like a baby riding a, a robot baby. That's amazing. Riza is amazed by the letter T. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I oh. wish I could have got that one instead. <laughs> I, it, uh, at first glance on this, I thought that was, I thought she had like the biggest butt cheek ever, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I the, mean, I it, wouldn't put it past it. It is a bag with a face. It looks like, oh, it's, it's, it's a little, a hat. it's a hat. I thought it was a face. I thought that was like the nose and, and, okay. I'm just, my imagination's running away with me. I guess this is more stuff that's on the Gus store. Yeah, it looks like we've got theme stuff, uh, some Halloween stuff here, as well as incredibly unsexy things i mean there's no way the developers intended any of this to be at all sexy if you no, guys are interested there is a qr code there i don't know what it does but some of you mm. might be interested in that I kind of stuff one of these came with it i like those too all right put this down here yeah it looks like a catalog for the store posters and stuff i need stick your fingers there we go you need those spider-man figures so this is yeah. a clear file I can see. Oh, you're right. I've opened enough collector's editions. I know a good, a good clear file when I've seen it. <laughs> oh, I ripped it. Sad day. Well, where did I put the knife? I ripped it a little, so we're gonna go ahead and get the knife. Well, maybe I can salvage it as a. Get a little part time in. There's a much more pleasant than crackling plastic. Now you can waste that. What are you doing? There we go. All right. So what do we got here? Voila. They are clear. They're like paper folders. Put your art. Or your, uh, don't know, yeah, your homework, something yeah, in there? Yeah, like a clear file. Hmm. That looks like they had, that looks like it should come with something that you can put in there. Maybe put her notes in there? Looks like they'll fit. Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be interesting if it had, like, some kind of a code? Oh, maybe. wonder what that is about. Oh, that looks like it's connected to something. Hmm. We'll have to mess with that and see if we can figure anything out. Oh, it looks like we got another cloth poster. This one doesn't come with any bars or anything, so maybe it's a little bit smaller. Kind of hope so. That's big. Yeah, that one's hefty. That one does not look very small either, though. I like the art. So I, I think it's funny that this would be the standard collector's edition. 
that you'd probably get just like, you know, just anyone, just any standard person off the streets, like, doesn't care about all the crazy additions. Mm -hmm. It's like, the more money you pay, though, the more, like, lewd you get. <laughs> <laughs> this one's cute. I really like this one. Oops. Oh, I can hold one side of it. There we go. Because, see, this seems more like what you'd expect in a collector's edition. This is actually a really good one. Yeah, this one's a I mean, this one's this. not bad, but I mean, you wouldn't expect that to be in. I don't know. I think if someone were, if this were marketed normally, like a regular collector's edition, mm -hmm. it would probably get the game a little bit of a bad rap. If that one were the standard one? Mm-hmm. Like if yeah. they were to have commercials saying, and you get this poster with it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that may not look as good. And how many moms would, you know, want to get their, their kids? How many moms and dads would be like, yeah, this is what we need to get our kids? Looks like this is an art book. That's what that poster is. It's not just a million pages in this thing. So I'll skip a couple. This is the Japanese version, though, so the... I like English version may be slightly different. I like that it looks like a scrapbook, like what hers would look like if she made. Whoa, yeah, was like he her... this swole before? No, I don't think so. Even in the what gym. What happened, was... Lent? Like, <laughs> bro, someone lent him some muscle. <laughs> look at that, he's yeah. huge. Been hitting the gym. I mean, he was pretty. The gym hit him back a bit too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he was pretty ripped in the first one, but oh, I love Clifford's design. Yeah, I like the hat. He looks like a black mage, but his back, like, his cuffs, <laughs> his cuffs that go back behind him. Mm. He's not a black mage. He's an ab mage. Yeah, he, for them abs. He sort of looks like uh, maybe a thief or something. I'm not really sure what his. He's an ab what mage. Do. I like her design. I like the colors. Oh, he, look! Look at that. He grew up a little bit. Yep, hopefully he's, uh... Old Tao, looking like he's older than eight years old. Hopefully he's got some gumption, because he was a little bit whiny. What is this here gonna call? Oh, oh, that oh. looks like you, you... There could be something... No. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, oh, look at that. It does line up. If any of you guys are into Japanese and you want to decipher this, feel free to pause the screen and take a look. Sorry, I'm trying to... Ooh. There we go. I think it's lined up now. There you go. You should be able to get your decipher on. Maybe I should read it. No, my help. I read the first half. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, there's a few. It's probably like, thank you for buying our bikini edition. <laughs> See, Except this so came in the regular edition. You know what? <laughs> Miyotsusa. Um, I will read the whole thing. So there you, you can go. Get some den denshi di jisho if I can. What are words? Denshi jisho going on your phone. If you want. Or shirabe jisho. That's a good one. Oh, wait. There we go. All oh, right. Oh, those are probably <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> I'll have to mess with that later, so I'll keep y'all all day. All right. Set that up on that. And last but definitely not least, we're going to check out this awesome lamp. It better not be the least. Better shed some light on the situation. You could do all your deciphering under under lamplight. Yeah. 
since it's LED, so maybe it's something you could set on your desk and it would not die very quickly. Battery powered, maybe? Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I think everything is LED and battery powered these days. Oops. It's an egg. Oh, cute. It's got a screw. How do you turn it on? Mm. Oh, that's... Should I turn off the light? That's really interesting how it works. Yeah, I can turn the lights off. Alright, put the camera on. Whoa. And then glow and eggy. Okay, so here's the lamp with the light down a little bit. It definitely looks better with less light. It's like a universe egg. You know what? I wonder if it's the dragon's egg. I bet it is. This would make a great cosplay accessory. Stick it in a little pouch or something. I'm sure she's got a bag as part of her outfit. But man, we got a few things in this dealie. All right, we're gonna set everything up for review and get these lights back on. Alrighty, so let's take a look at everything all together. What do we got? We got Rise's notes on her egg and stuff and some donut nonsense. And we got these, I think, are from the particular store that this was from. The contents of the premium box back there, which was this, this art book, these two thingies the clear files <laughs> yeah some DLC the bag came in the big box with the egg the memo diorama this came in the regular premium box that pen and so did too. this as well and the pen came in the big box we've got so the memo things. pad <laughs> catalog and, and of course the poster the poster swimsuit poster And of so course, the game, as presented by Lao Shan, <laughs> our helping hand in keeping yeah. all of this stuff <laughs> up, everything up. Because this is a lot of stuff. Yeah, more stuff than your body has room for. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> well, this has been the Atlio Ryza. This is like the fourth tier. This is actually, there's one tier higher than this that was a little bit out of our price range. It yeah. came with a Ryza figure. Like yeah, a, I believe so. Of I'm, her two version there. Yeah, I think it came with a big Ryza figure. That was a little bit much, though. That thing was, like, more than a PS5, I think, so... Yeah, after importing and shipping, it was a little pricey. But I thought the lamp would be cool, so I went for second best tier. Well, alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if any of you were on the fence about this, I don't know if anyone really gets Japanese Collector's Edition. This was more of a just-for-fun kind of video. And uh, just because we really wanted it. So, guys, we appreciate you watching. And as always, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, petfinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. He wants up there so bad. <laughs> If you can't bring a home an animal to help out, there's other ways you can help out. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. You can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office Whoa. supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they meet, need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show it, plenty of ways to give it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love, including our crazy little Axel here, so... Guys, we love you, and we will see you on the next one. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Bye. We need to make some room for him pronto.